Alabama. We are an unarmed freighter. We have two skiffs approaching with armed intruders. Potential piracy situation. Copy, Alabama. You should alert your crew and get your fire hoses ready. Uh, yeah, it, is that it? Chances are it's just fishermen. They're not here to fish. It was unlike anything I'd read, and it was kind of ripped out of today's headlines, and yet still open for all sorts of uh, interpretation. So it was a, that's, it's not very glamorous, but it was old school show business. That's how it worked for me. How did you get this job? Yeah, I was at my friend's house and was watching in the local TV, and you know, they came to Minneapolis. The casting call. Tom Hanks movie. How many, how many people showed up for the audition? About 700. So I came late. <laughs> I was like an hour late. Why do so many Somalis live in Minneapolis? Minneapolis because uh, the jobs are good, you know, and they're good for women, you know. It's because a lot of Somalians, you know. It's they, a big community. Okay. It's, it's the largest community. How about that? If you're gonna shoot somebody, shoot me! Relax. Everything's gonna be okay. Look at me. Sure. Look at me. Sure. I'm the captain now. Once Paul was involved, there was a huge amount of material to read. A lot of it was, uh, you know, declassified from it. And it was the reports from the, the Department of Defense and, uh, and the Navy SEALs and whatnot. So there's a, there's a moment where they know the names of the four hijackers. And it was a stand. How did they find that out? Well, there's, as soon as there's a guy that picked up the phone and said, what's going on? Hijackers among it, but I'm going to find out their names. And this guy knew uh, knew Africa, that part of Africa, very well, and he did it. Uh, the Musa character, um, I spoke with his uh, interpreter, but you know, I, I didn't have the chance to meet him. You know, he was a friend of a friend, you know, too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. A friend of your friend is the interpreter of the real Musa. Wow. Yeah. How about that. Yeah, we had a lot of laughs behind the scene. You know, we had. The other guys that was acting, you know, we had Mahat. <laughs> Mahat. We, we ragged on Mahat because he honestly didn't have to do anything. <laughs> he was always sitting, in the, sitting in, the, in the pilot chair. He never went anywhere else. He never did anything else. He said, so we'd be doing something where we're fighting and screaming and arguing and there's blood involved. Yeah. And we said, and Mahat, you steer the boat. That's yeah. all he was doing throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's let's hear it for Barkham, man. He's he's surviving the, the the beast here. He's doing the press. He's doing the press now. That's uh, that's no. That, that's great. right. And, you're, and a nice gentle introduction into the process. Thanks to the Hollywood Reporter, man. Thanks to the Hollywood Reporter, absolutely. And to Tom Hanks. Ah.